comes to making a responsible energy decision for your family and the planet, choose clean natural gas from Atmos Energy. Natural gas is safer and more reliable than other energy solutions and can reduce your home's carbon emissions by up to 45%. By using less total energy than other energy sources, natural gas lowers your impact on the environment. It's just another way that Atmos Energy makes your life better. Atmos Energy, your natural gas company. to week one of the brand new Roger Cador Show. Clarence Bugs, along with the coach at Shoppers Value Foods on Government Street where we make it simple. We're bringing you throughout the course of the next 14 weeks or so a good news stories out of Southern University and Louisiana, Baton Rouge included, of course, as well. Coach, let's start week two of the football season with the Jaguars. We hit the road playing up for Southern Miss. More and more schools scheduling games of this sort. Some say it's because of the attractive payday. What are your thoughts when it comes to playing up for HBCUs? Well, it is the payday factor that exists. I mean, when you look at Southern uh, Athletic uh, Department budget, it hadn't been able to, to be where it should be. And football is the one mechanism that they have that they can make some money and you have to sell some game. And mm -hmm. I always worry about it because when you start playing up, you're playing against 85 plus scholarship kids and it's more difficult. You could get some kids hurt because now we don't have the scholarships. Right. Well, let's go back a, a week if we could. The HBCU MEAC Classic, South Carolina State coming to Baton Rouge, carried on ESPN, no doubt. Can you put a dollar figure on that kind of exposure for two HBCUs at one time? No, you really can't because it's, matter of fact, I was out of the country and I saw it. Right. So it, it, it carries a long, a long carry, cover a lot of territory. Mm -hmm. The key is now, how do we get our local fans right. to come in to the game? That was a perfect segue into the next question. Fan representation a lot less than what we had hoped for, particularly since we had our institution showcased literally on international TV. But playing a game, day game, on a Sunday, South Louisiana, this time of year, had to figure a little bit into that turnout, Coach. Plus, there was no other game to compete against right. on that particular uh, day. Well, they might have had another game, but it wasn't. It's, I, it's hard to figure out. Something is going wrong. Either we're not uh, promoting right, mm -hmm. getting out in the community, and making people want to feel a part of it. I can't say why we can't get fans out to football game, because Historically, people in Louisiana and in the South live for football. Yeah, and it's, it's a bit of a conundrum here because the Jaguar Nation is known for how they travel on the road. People love to schedule Southern because they know Southern's going to bring fans in droves. But yet and still, we struggle to fill A.W. Mumford Stadium. How do you make sense out of that? You can't make sense. Uh, we'll go to Houston and take 20000 Right. But we struggle to get them in there. So I just think it's uh, it has... Uh, I'm a born promoter. I think you have to promote, and uh, I think you have to get out in the, at the grassroots level and get the younger people, high school kids. Mm -hmm. That's where you're going to be able to get more people at. You can find a way to market it and get the high school kids. It serves as a twofold. You get them in the stand, plus you get them on the campus. Right. If they like what they see, then you get them as a student. So that's why you got to promote. You got to go. And, and, and find a way to get the young kids in there. Of course, another factor that may be flying just underneath the radar is that the African-American community was hit pretty hard by the floods of last August. Many of those people still have not recovered and don't have that disposable income like they had before. Well, uh, you, you, you hit a good one, and I think uh, when you look at that plus, uh, you know, uh, it's just tough to buy those tickets when you have to make a decision what is important. School just started. Right. You know what I'm saying? You oh, gotta yeah. get the kids off to school. And then whether or not you're gonna spend dollars on uh, sports entertainment. 
It is week one of the new Roger Kador show. We're going to take our first break, but don't go anywhere. We're coming right back with more from Shoppers Value on Government Street, where we make it simple. in the frenzy for exciting new games from the Louisiana Lottery. Win up to $200,000. Scratch the back of the $500 frenzy ticket for a bonus game. Score big with Frenzy Today from the Louisiana Lottery. It was nearly a decade ago that Brett teamed up to imagine your parks and you imagine big. 12 beautiful community parks from one end of the parish to the other. One family-sized water park and five other parks just for your dogs. You have places to splash and places to explore. You have games to play and camps galore. No matter what you like to do or see, visit Breck.org and see how together we have made Breck better than imagined. <laughs> You don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Welcome back for week one of the Roger Kador Show, and we are coming to you today from Shoppers Value. We'll be doing this throughout the course of the season. 11 stores throughout South Louisiana and Mississippi, and yet another one is on the drawing board coming soon. Real simple motto, we make it simple. Simple to shop, simple pricing, saving you money, and all the brand names that you know and love. Shoppers Value, proud sponsor of the Roger Kador Show. Coach, we opened up talking about uh, football with the Jaguars and, and the Jaguars playing up particularly with Southern Miss, of course, last year with Georgia. Mm -hmm. And um, while people call these games typically a rental win, uh, every now and then you end up, in the words of Muhammad Ali, you shock the world. <laughs> Howard University, largest underdog in the history of bookmaking in Vegas, they pull off this huge win upsetting UNLV for the win. You can't put a dollar figure on that kind of publicity, can you? You can, and it happened in Vegas of all of places. Of all places. Yeah, you know, and, you know, Cam Newton, uh, brother, was the quarterback, and uh, he pulled it off, and it's a great win. But football is a situation where if you, that kind of school play you 100 times, they usually win 100 times. Right. Because of the difference in the talent level. Uh, baseball is the one sport that is uniquely different. Mm -hmm. because it's not about who is the most talented. It's how you pitch and how you hit and how you feel. You could hit everything hard and hit them right at people. Right. You can hit some softball and they go through. Right. And that's how you can win. So baseball is, that's why you see lower level schools could beat higher ranking school in baseball. HBCUs these days, many of them have the opportunity to play up, to play larger schools. Can they really afford to turn down these sorts of paydays, understanding how many of our institutions are cash strapped these days? Yeah, it's very difficult. It's, uh, they need the money and they have to do it. I really feel bad for the kids. Right. Having been a former coach, knowing you're putting them in a situation, a no-win situation, to make money uh, for, the, uh, for the survival of the, of the athletic department. But that's what it is. Uh, it has been happening for a while. And uh, it's not going to stop anytime soon. I'm glad you mentioned a former coach because for <laughs> me and so many millions of people watching right now that have known you throughout the years, you will always be Coach Roger Cador. So if you all at home hear me slip and say, well, coach this or coach that, charge it to my head, not to my heart. On the upside, though, coach, for a school like Howard and HBCUs that represent themselves very well in games like this, this can be an invaluable recruiting tool, can't it? It can. Uh, it's still a, a uphill battle. Let me just say that, Clarence. 
the better athletes are not going to come to the smaller school. I mean, I don't care what you say. Right. They're not coming in drove. They're going mm -hmm. to the bigger school. And that's just the way it is. So, yeah, where it was a big win and it did, the odds are they still have an uphill battle in recruiting. Right. Do you think that uh, the day will come when playing up will end up replacing the classics that we have, the Space City Classic, the Bayou Classic, things of that nature, if you're going to get that guaranteed payday? Are we in danger of losing the classics as we know it? Well, you could be because it's, again, survival. Uh, schools have to survive and uh, administrators are telling them you got to make money right. if you want to keep the sports. Football is not going anywhere at historical black school, but it's the other sports. And the thing that makes them is uh, because of gender equity, you have to have X number of sports right. to be a member of the Division I uh, fraternity. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's very difficult when you're looking at how things are ran at this level. Going to take a quick break. When we come back for segment three, you're going to talk a little bit of Saints. Oh, what a disappointment. <laughs> uh, stay with us. You're watching The Roger Kador Show. Stay close. have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, Take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Get caught up in the frenzy. Four exciting new games from the Louisiana Lottery. Win up to $200,000. Scratch the back of the $500 frenzy ticket for a bonus game. Score big with Frenzy Today from the Louisiana Lottery. Welcome back for segment three of the Roger Kador Show, brought to you in part by Our Lady of the Lake Regional Medical Center, offering nothing but the finest, the absolute best in health care for the greater Baton Rouge surrounding areas. When you need health care, obviously you want the best. That means you want Our Lady of the Lake Regional Medical Center, a proud sponsor of the Roger Kador Show. Coach, this segment, let's uh, shift gears a bit and look at the pro side of things. The Saints opened their regular season this week against Adrian Peterson's old team, Minnesota Vikings. Uh, how tough do you think it is for a superstar, even on arguably the downside of his career, to mesh with a brand new team? It's tough because, especially the Saints, they're not a run-oriented team to start right. with. Right. They're pass and then run. And he needs to touch the ball each and every time. And six touches ain't going to do him quite well. So yeah. it's very difficult to miss now. And then you're playing your former teammates, so they fired up against you. Oh, of course. So, yeah, so he's had a double whammy there. You look at uh, modern-day athletics and, and what it's become in our, our <coughs> sports-obsessed uh, society. How tough is it these days for the modern-day athlete to walk away from the game, from the fame, the adulation of the fans, and leave out while you're at the top of the mountain. How tough is that? It's tough. It's a, again, let's look at it. TV, publicity, notoriety, mm -hmm. and then the last thing is the money that they're making. You know how difficult that is to walk away knowing that you're never going to make it again. Right. You know, because when most of these athletes leave the game, the amount of money they make end up going to from 100% to literally nothing. Right. And uh, so it's very difficult because it's a lifestyle they live mm -hmm. and they won't no longer can live it 
with the amount of money they'll be having to live on. Is it then becoming that much more important that starting at an early age, as you realize that your child has some talent that may be head and shoulders above the rest, that you start to get them grounded, rooted and grounded at that point, so that as they get exposed to this kind of lifestyle, something that most mere mortals will never have the opportunity <laughs> to taste, even just a little bit, that they, they're rooted and grounded so that when that time comes, they're prepared for it, not only financially, but emotionally and spiritually as well. Oh yeah, you, you, you have to do it. And it's so difficult, Clarence, for parents to do that. They would want to, but they can't really do it because how many parents, especially the kids that comes out of uh, the neighborhood we traditionally recruit out of. Right. Somebody else is running that, those kids' life mm -hmm. from there where mom is working there's usually not a dad there. Right. And if he's there, he's partially involved. Right. So the spiritual, the, the other uh, part of what, what the kid needs to learn mm -hmm. ain't being taught. Right. And so they miss out on learning the art of investment and saving for a rainy day for a long time. They don't get to learn any of that. They just play for now and think they're gonna play forever. Yeah, and unfortunately, uh, the old adage, the old folks told us long time ago, nothing good lasts forever. It is week one of our new Roger Cador show where we'll be exploring all sorts of topics, dealing with <coughs> sports and more, all the great things happening at Southern University in Baton Rouge, and of course, in the sportsman's paradise, our very own great state of Louisiana. When we come back, we're gonna talk a little bit of Hurricane Harvey and our special correspondent, Aaron Fulbright, will take an inside look at some fundraising efforts and donation drives going on at Southern. All that and more next on the Roger Cador Show. Stay close. moving in storage. I need to clean out my study. We'll deliver a container. My brother-in-law's moving in. Maybe he'll help you pack. He's lazy. We can refer some professionals. It's just until he finds work. We can keep things at our storage center for as long as it takes. I am not happy about this. Or you can keep your things on site for quick unloading. Did you say freeloading? I said unloading. I heard freeloading. I'm sure you did. Store on site or let us drive your things to our secure storage center. Pods, moving in storage, solved. Trust is the key that transforms strangers into friends. At Southern Teachers and Parents Federal Credit Union, we believe in lending a helping hand. Transforming your dreams into reality. Because with friends, you can do anything. Come on by and check out our competitive loan rates. We'll see your dreams come to life. Whichever loan, we have you covered. Welcome back for segment four of the Roger K. Doerr Show. As you can imagine, all across South Louisiana, and particularly in our area, folks have opened their hearts, their wallets, their resources to the folks over in Texas that are so very devastated by the advent of Hurricane Harvey. Our special correspondent, Aaron Fulbright, has a look at a couple of efforts that took place on behalf of the folks devastated by Harvey right on the campus of Southern University. Aaron, take it away. Thanks, Clarence. Last August, South Louisiana dealt with water taking over many of its cities and thousands of families being displaced from their homes. So when Hurricane Harvey hit, they knew all too well what Houston was going through. Many of our Louisianians stepped up to help out their neighboring state, just like Southern University, who opened a relief fund for monetary donations and items to be delivered to the Mini Dome to help out Houston and their alumni in Houston. 
SU Hurricane Harvey Relief Fund began accepting donations of non-perishable food items, water, clothing, and other essential items on Thursday, August 31st. Folks who wanted to help were able to drop off items at the F.G. Clark Activity Center until September 5th. SU System Chief of Staff Dr. Robin Merrick said Southern had to jump in and help because that is what Southern does. I think we had to open our doors. I don't think it, we gave it a second thought. It was simply, you know, we must do this. This is who we are. We're all about service and teaching and education. So it's it was a natural fit for us to open our doors and be certain that we were helping those who helped us before. And as you know, Southern has stood as a place of shelter for a number of years. I mean, going all the way back to even Hurricane Katrina, we've always been right there to bring things together, bring people to us, and just be here to serve. Not only was Southern accepting items, but monetary donations were being accepted by the Southern University System Foundation. During the first football game on campus during Labor Day weekend, opportunities were given for donations with buckets being passed at the game on Sunday. All the proceeds went to Southern's alumni chapter in Houston that would then be used and give to those in need. The Government Association has played a big part in getting this relief fund started and encouraging the Jaguar Nation to give and their fellow students. Many of our students are from the Houston area and the surrounding areas, like volleyball player Dara Moore, who is from Clear Channel, Texas. I mean, it kind of makes me sad because it's like we're here and I can't go home to help or do anything. It's got a little bit of water. Yeah, my dad and my sisters and my stepmom had to be evacuated by the National Guard the other day, but um, my uncle came and got them, so they should be. I think they're good right now. So have they been able to get back to the house, or they still can't get onto their street? As far as I know, I think they're still with my uncles. It is amazing to see everyone come together, even when they are going through the same thing. Photos have swarmed the media and social media of people coming together despite the differences of race, backgrounds, religion, or political views. There is so much that can still be given. As Harvey leaves and the water will soon begin to drain, folks in Houston will be heading back to their homes and businesses to begin rebuilding. We encourage people to still give and donate items, as in the next coming months, they will make a huge difference. Outside of the relief fund, there were also other monetary fundraisers that were going on. At the football game, they did a pass the bucket to help raise money for the victims in Texas, as well as the bas women's basketball team did a fundraiser where they sent out a flyer to help um, those in need. They have a fellow player who's from Port Arthur who had suffered um, a major loss within the flood. So. If you want to give, you can go to www.subr.edu um, and still help out with that relief fund. And as always, those in Texas and those affected by the flood are in our prayers. Back to you, Clarence. Aaron, thank you. A true testament to the generosity, the heart, and the spirit of the great folks in the Bayou State. When we come back, we will wrap up week one of the Roger Cador Show. Stay close. Pause moving and storage. We just sold our house. Congratulations. We have two weeks to move. We'll deliver a few containers. Our new home's not ready. No problem. You can store things with us while you're between homes. We might need help. We'll refer trusted packers. We'll be staying at my brother's. Well, that sounds... He has kids of his own. Well... Five of them. Ma'am? Help. Trust us for local and long-distance moving and store at our storage centers. Pods. Moving and storage. Solved. It was nearly a decade ago that Brett teamed up to imagine your parks, and you imagine big. Twelve beautiful community parks from one end of the parish to the other. One family-sized water park, and five other parks just for your dogs. You have places to splash and places to explore. You have games to play and camps galore. No matter what you like to do or see, visit Breck.org and see how together we have made Breck better than imagined. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong, 
and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Beep. Welcome back for the final segment of the initial installment of the Roger Kador Show. Coach, just this week, we celebrated the 16th um, remembrance of 9-11. We also are right off the heels of Hurricane Harvey, uh, and more recently, right on the heels of Hurricane Irma. Do you think we as a society will ever grow to the point where we don't have to have disasters to bring us together and get past the color of our skin, our religious affiliation, our political affiliation? Do you think we'll ever grow as a nation to that point to where we can see the good in others without having to be forced to do so by a disaster? You know, this is the second time today that question has been asked of me. Mm -hmm. If I thought, and I said, I'm a, I'm a, I am an optimist. I want to always believe that things are going to be better. Right. People are going to work together. And that's, that's the strength of America mm -hmm. and the world is when you work together, pull together for the betterment of everything. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm thinking it's going to be better. Of course, now, you have been privileged throughout your years uh, to be a part of one of the things that helps bring us together. You talk about things like music, things like organized sports. Those are the things that fortunately uh, forge that tie that binds us and allows us to get past our petty differences that we all have for whatever reason in life. I agree. Sports is, you know, it has, it's not about how much money you have or how much little, the lack of money you have, mm -hmm. is all about the unity that it brings. You play for each other, you fight for each other, you know, you hug and love each other. So that's the beauty of what sport does. We uh, are launching a brand new show this week. Most of you are used to seeing the two of us talking Southern baseball. We, of course, on occasion, going to do a little bit of that as well. But we've expanded the show now that Coach has a little more freedom, a little more time on his hands, things of that nature. We'll be talking about great stories coming out of Southern University, coming out of Baton Rouge, the entire state of Louisiana, and more. It's all a part of the Roger Cador Show. And again, forgive me if I slip and say <laughs> Coach from time to time, because he will always be Coach. Very special thank you to the good folks at Shoppers Value Foods, where we make it simple for hosting us for this brand new show. It has been our pleasure to kick off week one, and we look forward to seeing you next week with another edition of the Roger Cador Show. We'll see you then. Stay with us.